Hi guys, it's Tom from Train Sim TV and hope everyone's well. Um, thank you very much for joining us once again for a, another Train Sim 2019 video. Today we will be doing a short 20 minute run on the Chatham Mainline. Um, this is just between Beckenham Junction and London Victoria. It's a scenario from Synx and it's available from Synx's uh, webpage. The link will be provided at the description for that. Uh, so the description on this one is uh, it's a short non-stop run from Beckenham to Victoria and be mindful of the signals. We are on a southeastern class 465 uh, four cars. It's a difficulty of medium and we have summer and clear conditions. So we're going to get ourselves prepared and get our cab set up ready for departure. Let's get the doors open. Now I thought this pack would feature the AP sounds. Um, I've just reinstalled the actual uh, Class 465 sound pack, but I don't think it actually supports them on this model, unfortunately. So uh, we we'll just have to make do with whatever sounds we have, which I think they are the actual default throughout. The horn doesn't sound like it's the AP one. I'm just waiting for the uh, right way, and we are going to be calling only at London Victoria on this run. We are due to depart at 19.01 from Beckham Junction and 19.20 is our uh, due arrival time. It's a journey total of uh, 8.63 miles and a journey time of 19 minutes from when we depart. So as we just head out of Beckenham, we're just going to have a look at the, uh, the journey path. So we're going to be taking this line up here, heading through Kent House, up to Hearn Hill. And then we're going to join the uh, line at Clapham High Street area near Brixton, that area. And then we're going to travel up to Victoria, just up here. And as you can see, there's quite a lot of AI for such a short scenario, which is always good to see means we're going to see plenty of trains along the way. So we'll be short into the 60 mile an hour section.
it's nice to as well be able to do a different route rather than the ones I've been doing as of recently so it's nice to have a little run into London this isn't a route I do very often either it's nice to have a change of scenery There's also um, quite a few planned videos coming, um, stuff such as tutorials, um, I've got a few tutorials planned along with another couple of scenario runs that we'll be featuring at some point in the next week or so, so please do keep your eye on the fa uh, YouTube, I was going to say Facebook then, but yeah you can look out on our Facebook page um, if you've already got that, links will be provided and the description for that. Yeah there's a few plans on the way just to try and mix it up a little bit from the usual stuff that we do So in just over a mile we're going to be uh, dropping down to the 45 mile an hour section and then we, we do climb up again to 60. Another thing that's nice is nice to have these little short scenarios where you can get more recording time if you get extra bits and pieces. So it's always good to have. Red currently approaching now. Um, there's a junction actually. We've got the um, Hearn Hill. I'll be waiting for something to cross over, most likely, or uh, to leave the platform. We're going to roll up to this nice and slowly. I think the train has just left the platform, so we should get the road in a second. derelict signal box there in the old NSE nameplate at Hearn Hill.
just waiting for the train ahead to clear the section. It's quite a long block actually. leaving Brixton platform now. We'll be following this train all the way into Victoria. Only 2.8 miles away now. Just drop that speed down a bit. We did get a double yellow, so we should have a single, I reckon, this time. Yeah, just one single. Overground, it's a 378 just on the left of us as well. Get a screenshot there for the video. Nice little view actually with the city in the uh, the background as well with the uh, the bigger buildings. So just a mile and a half now to Victoria. Not quite sure if that's a red for us yet. It looks like it could be a single yellow actually. Quite possibly by the looks of it.
I'll make a better screenshot actually here. Yeah. I'll decide. Can never have enough screenshots. The ones I don't use, they all come in handy for me, a little slideshow section on the uh, Twitch feed as well. Which has become quite a popular little um, section now. If anyone's obviously on the uh, Twitch Discord, when you uh, join up there, you can actually add in your best screenshots and then they will get featured in the stream. Um, my owner in there, loads of people put the, the pictures in. It's made it up into quite a nice little feed before uh, between scenarios. So they're sitting there looking at the load screen. I think we have a. See, we do have a single yellow. Usually get held out here. I'm going to platform four as well. always a little bit laggy around this section of the route on my PC anyway I think it's, de it, it's definitely time to start investing in a new graphics card shortly I think most definitely That's me approaching the end of line signal a bit too quick by lots of it. Let's put the actual brake uh, brakes and put it into neutral, but never mind. We shall uh, sit here. So we hope you've enjoyed it, guys. Um, again, please do bear this one in mind if you want a quick, short 20 minute run. Um, you can catch myself and Mark on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash tracetv underscore Tom. And you can also catch Mark at TrainsimTV underscore Mark. Um, I'm the one that does the most streaming, but Mark, you can find him here and there as well. Um, Mark does um, quite a lot of the video side of things. Um, yeah, so please do drop us a follow on there. Come and give us a watch. Uh, also, give us a follow on YouTube. Much appreciated. Please do share us about and uh, let your friends know. Um, and again, the scenario link will be in the description for this one. So we're a slight little bit earlier. Um, oh, there we go. Oh, well, thank you very much once again, guys, and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care and goodbye.